What's up guys, Pavlo Gaming here, and today I will be doing a, a an E3 video because I haven't really talked about E3, I didn't say how hyped I was for it or anything. So uh, now I am going to do a recap video of the first day of E3 and what was announced and stuff like that. So the first thing that I was most hyped for in this entire first day of it was Dishonored 2. The official gameplay trailer came out and it looks absolutely amazing. I cannot wait for that game to come out and Bethesda also announced the special edition of it which I'm also excited for because it comes with Corvo's mask, it comes with Emily's ring, it has a wanted poster, it has a steel book case and I just think it's going to be really cool to have that Dishonored mask sitting up on my shelf. So there was uh, there was some other things that they announced. They announced new DLCs for Fallout 4. They, they announced two small DLCs and a big DLC. The big DLC is called Nuka World and it is a, is a post-apocalyptic theme park. And they also announced two new workshop modes, Vault Tech Workshop and what was the other one? Wasteland? No, that was the old one. I can't remember the other workshop but they came out. There was also a lot about Skyrim, because they announced the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition. And I know I'm going to get hated on for saying this, but I have never played a Skyrim game in my life. And then everyone proceeds to fi fire guns at me. <laughs> but uh, I literally haven't played any Skyrim game ever. I played a bit of um, the Elder Scrolls Online, but I didn't really, I didn't really like it that much. And I know a lot of people are going to be hyped for uh, the Skyrim, the, the Elder Scrolls Online, but I just don't like Skyrim, I'm sorry, but I don't. I prefer Fallout a lot more. There was also Prey. Prey was announced a couple of years back, and it sort of disappeared off the face of the earth. Uh, never, to be, never to be thought of again, but then they announced the Prey, and they showed the reveal trailer for it. And to be honest, I am actually quite hyped for it. I, I, I didn't really know why I was really hyped for it. it, just looks like a seriously good game. But another big thing that happened yesterday at the EA conference, because it was Bethesda, EA and Nintendo uh, last night, was Battlefield 1 official gameplay trailer. And oh my god, have like literally this is what Call of Duty should have done at the start. Listen to your fans. Literally, the key thing to making a game is to listen to your fans, Call of Duty, okay? See, if you listen to your fans, things would be way better. But, Battlefield 1 official gameplay trailer came out at the EA conference yesterday, and it just looks so good. EA have done such a good job on it. And, and I know everyone hates on EA, but literally, I have to say, well done to them. They have made a superb looking game, and if it can live up to the hype of the trailers that have came out, I will be happy to play it. Another thing that came out, which I'm also going to get hated on, is uh, the Mass Effect, the Mass Effect uh, Andronima official EA uh, trailer for it. And again, I'm going to get hated for this, but I've never played a Mass Effect game. I, n I probably never will play a Mass Effect game. But I watched the trailer, and it doesn't look that bad. But I just don't really... Mass Effect doesn't seem like my kind of game. Also, another thing that came out is Titanfall 2, and it looks like they're finally getting what they wanted. There's finally going to be a single player, like, campaign sort of thing, and there's also going to be multiplayer, and I'm happy because I never owned an Xbox One, but they're bringing it out for PC and PlayStation 4 this time, and I've seen gameplay of Titanfall 1, and it looks really, really good, so I can't wait to get this game and pick it up. And it just looks so good, good. So good, good? Yes, that is now a thing that's happening. Another thing was shown was Injustice 2. The official gameplay trailer was shown, and it looks pretty good too. Uh, it doesn't look that bad. I've never played one before. I don't know I don't know if people will get pissed off at me for that, but I've never played an Injustice game, so I don't really know. And, oh, no, one more thing. The Destiny Rise of Iron trailer was, this was not E3, but it was put on Snapchat, the trailer for it, and it, I don't play Destiny that much, which I'm probably going to get hit on even more, but 
Uh, I watched the trailer and it doesn't look that bad, so I can't. I sort of own I own Destiny, so I'll play it and see what it's like. So I guess that's it. Uh, come on, yep, that's it. So tomorrow or today, even because I'm making this on uh, June thirteenth, there today is the Xbox and Ubisoft conference, and we all know what we want from that. We want. The new Xbox, because apparently they're supposed to be a, uh, bringing out the new Xbox console, the slimmer version of the Xbox One. And also Ubisoft are are uh, bringing, or releasing Watch Dogs 2's uh, gameplay trailer. Because the trailer they showed us a couple weeks, well it wasn't really a couple weeks back, it was about a week ago. They, um, they showed us a cinematic trailer and it actually looks seriously good. And I can't wait because I was a serious fan of the first Watch Dogs game, although not many people were, but I was a serious fan of it, and I can't wait to pick up this game. So, that is the recap video, guys. I will hopefully be doing these every day uh, throughout E3, just letting you guys know. If you didn't catch what happened in E3, if you just didn't watch it or anything, you can uh, recap it with me. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, leave a like if you did, and see you.